Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today several members of the royal family and state officials. His Royal Highness highlighted the Bahraini society's love for social and voluntary action as part of its religion and traditions. He expressed pride in the effective voluntary contributions of Bahraini women locally and regionally, pointing out women's role as an effective element that has made numerous achievements in the political, economic, and social aspects. The Prime Minister hailed the of commercial families and the accomplishments of women in leading family companies and reinforcing contribution in the economic system. His Royal Highness also highlighted the achievements of the kingdom thanks to the people who are always keen to achieve the best interest of their homeland. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today with a number of Arab countries' ambassadors to Bahrain led by Dean of a Diplomatic Corp and Kuwait's Ambassador Sheikh Hazam Al Mubarak Al Subah. His Highness Sheikh Nasser thanked the ambassadors for their visit to RCO, which reflects their appreciation to the charity work conducted by the organization. He said that RCO has been able to accomplish many local and international national achievements by the volume of humanitarian aid to needy people in the world and ease their suffering from conflicts, wars and natural disasters. RCO General Secretary Dr. Mustafa Sayyid briefed the audience on the history of the organizations and its charity work in addition to the initiatives of His Majesty the King to expand beneficiary categories. Kuwait's Ambassador Sheikh Hazam Al Mubarak Al Subah on behalf of the audience commended the efforts of His Majesty the King in supporting humanitarian work and aiding those in need inside Bahrain and abroad. He also praised His Highness Sheikh Nasser's efforts in managing RCO and his support to developmental charity projects in many countries in need. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of West Asian Athletic Association and President of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, on the occasion of the victory of Bahrain's Eunice Kirwa of Japan's Nagoya Women's Marathon. He also congratulated His Majesty the King's representatives for charity work and youth affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid confirmed that the achievement reflects Bahrain's excellence in marathons and sports fields in general, commending a runner Unique, Unique's efforts, which qualified her to win and represent Bahrain in various sports functions. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed the importance of Bahrain's KHK MMA team to participate in the 21st Desert Force Championship, which will be held tomorrow in Al Hussein Sports City in Jordan, in order to enhance Bahrain's position between various countries on the international and youth levels. His Highness said the participation of the Bahraini fighter Hamza Al Kohiji in this championship affirms Bahrain's keenness to achieve the highest results in this field. The Shura Council, chaired by Speaker Ali Al Saleh, held its weekly session today during which it issued a statement expressing pride in Bahrain's participation in North Thunder military maneuvers, which aim to preserve regional security, face challenges and deal with terrorist organizations. The Council approved a decree by law regarding commercial register law and agreed to hold further deliberation on removing a provision of the penalties law during their next session. 
Bahrain Defense Force Combat Troops and Royal Bahraini Air Force planes returned to Bahrain from Saudi Arabia after taking part in the North Thunder military drill, which is considered one of the largest exercises in the history of the region. 20 Arab and Islamic countries took part in the drill, which was held in King Khalid military city at Hafr al-Batlan in the north of Saudi Arabia. Bahrain's participation in the drill comes in line with the directives of His Majesty the King to reinforce joint cooperation and coordination with the Gulf Arab and Islamic countries and contribute in achieving desired integration amongst them. This is in addition to consolidating military cooperation with the participation of countries and enhanced combat readiness as well as training the troops on modern tactics and gaining more experience from field exercises. Bahrain's troops perform an effective role which reflected their efficiency in executing the demands of all phases of North Thunder maneuvers alongside Gulf Cooperation Council member states and Arab and Islamic countries. Activities of the Joint GCC Naval Exercise Union 18 were launched today in the participation of the Royal Bahrain Naval Force RBNF alongside GCC and Arab Naval Forces. The exercise aims to the exchange of military expertise and raising military efficiency and combat readiness to meet the requirements of the joint military action which parallels the remarkable military cooperation and coordination between GCC countries. Bahrain has ranked third in 2016 as the best country in the world in which expatriates prefer to live in following Singapore and New Zealand, according to a survey conducted by the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation, HSBC. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain has always been known for its peaceful environment and welcoming people, which is the reason behind topping the world countries in attracting expatriates, according to the Expat Explorer Survey. The survey, conducted by the Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank, is one of the largest independent global expat surveys that focuses on the expat's lifestyle, especially the level of ease or difficulty in which expats can set up in the country, how well they integrate into the local community, and their overall quality of life. 66% of expatriates covered in the survey affirmed that they were very happy to live in Bahrain for many reasons, asserting that the kingdom is an open country and that its people is modest and it's easy to deal with Bahrainis and make friendships with them. Dr. Amy Bazailo, the first chiropractor in Bahrain, and her husband Mike Cunningham from Canada affirmed that they feel at home here. Bahrain is actually my favorite place. It's um, The people here are very warm and welcoming. And as an expat, I don't feel like an outsider here. This feels like my home. And it's treated, you're treated as if it's your home as well. I just find it just such a friendly place to be. It's very much, it feels like home. It is our home. Um, the people here are friendly. Um, I work with Bahrainis, I spend time with Bahrainis. You don't feel as an expat that you are separated from the people that actually live here and it's so much fun to be here, there's so much going on, it's a great place to live. The survey added that Bahrain is the world's most attractive country for other nationality and also for its business-friendly environment, welcoming society and coexistence of its citizens and residents within a secure and tolerant atmosphere. It's much more easy to room around here, take um, take street photography, do street photography on the street, less restrictions, people are extremely, extremely um, uh, helpful and uh, very welcoming. So I love this place and, um, um, and, 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 and I work for a bank here, so, so Bahrain is a banking hub in the region. So there is no, I don't see any reason for me to stay, to move out of the Bahrain in the near future. Indeed. Openness has been a distinctive feature of the Bahraini society throughout history and has been consolidated thanks to the leadership directives to promote the kingdom into regional financial, business, trade and tourism hub. According to the survey, Bahrain is an easy and stable choice for expats, offering a smooth transition and a warm welcome. Here's Bara with the latest business news. Thank you, Sarah. Good evening and welcome to Business News on Bahrain TV. 
The Bahrain One Shares Index closed today at 1,155.66 points, marking a decrease of 2.94 points below last closing level. The downturn was due to the losses in the commercial banking sector. The industrial sector witnessed 60.07 percent of the total value of shares traded. According to results, 39 transactions took place, compromising 460,605 shares worth 94,736 Bahraini dinars.